Hello friends, welcome. So let's get started and then learn and learn React together. So here I am inside the react.js.org and we can see React is a JavaScript library for building user interfaces. So let's get started here and let's click in the create a new React app. And now if we scroll down here, we can see create a new React app. We need to run this command npx create a React app and give it the name. Of course, we are using here npx, so we need to have Node.js installed. If you don't have, go and download the app here and install that. After that, open the terminal and run that command. Uh, sorry, let's open the iter here and uh, let's zoom it. And let's say npx, sorry, so npx create react app and give it the name. And I'm going to name react app. Okay, hit enter and it's going to create the react app inside this directory. After that, we need to cd in that project and we can run the npm start. Now, this npm start is going to run our application on the local machine. So it's going to open, it's going to run that application in the localhost 3000. Of course, you can install, you can create the React app with a yarn. So if you use yarn, but I'm going to use npm. So let's stick with that. And let's see now, let's wait for the NPM to create the project. Okay, now the project is ready. Let's see the in the project and run the, that NPM start. So I'm going to copy that, paste it here. And first I'm going to open the project with the VS code. And after that, let's run the NPM start. NPM start. And it's going to open the project in localhost 3000. Very good. Now let's see what we have in this project. We have the node modules. And after that, we have this public folder. And here we have the this index HTML. And this is going to be the only HTML file in our project. Let's remove the code here and you can see inside the body tag we have only one div with id root and inside here is going to be all of our project all the code for our project is going to be inside here so here is going to uh, inject the react the project inside here okay so also, let's open this package JSON and we can see here we have the dependencies we need for running this project. We have the React here, React DOM, which is for web application. And we have this React scripts. You can see we run npm start and this npm start is going to say React scripts start. Okay. We have this. Uh, build which is going to be npm run build not npm build npm run build and it's going to run this code and the build is going to create an optimized folder for deployment so when we deploy to the internet is going to be more fast so internet is going to create optimized files there okay we have this test for testing and eject is more advanced. So we are going to ignore for now. Let's close this. Let's close also this one and let's open the source folder. Now here is going to be all the files and the components we need for our project. And we can see this index.js. This is the entry point for our project. 
let's also remove the code here and we can see we have imported the react the core react the library and the react dom also the css file and also we have imported this app file so this one and we say here const root react dom is going to create a root here and you can see document get element by id root so it is going to get that id root here and is going to inject the project so document get element by id root and it's going to say here root render and it's going to render inside that div this app here you can see it is something like a html app and so we have this uh, react strict mode which is going to let react strict what to use inside and warning if we use if we use uh, something that react don't want okay and inside here is going to render this up to the road here so inside here is going to be our project so if i save this and let's go where is the project here inspect element and you we can see here we have this div with id root and all the application is inside here here we have after the div class app we have the header and also we have the paragraph and the link so all the application is inside this div which is inside this index html okay friends now what is this app so let's open that file now let's close this public and let's open this app.js and this is what react is is a component all the files is going to be component and all the components is going to be rendered here as pieces of a website so for example we can have one component for the uh, logo here one component for the paragraph and a component for this uh, anchor tag and if we see here we have a function now uh, we have function components and uh, class components and nowadays the function components is more used with hooks but in this course we are going to start with uh, class components and after that we are going to change the files from class components to the function components we are going to convert them okay but let's see here here we have function app and this function is going to return this uh, kind of html so here is the div the header image and so on but you can see we don't have class but we have class name also you can see here in the image we have this source and we have Holy braces and the logo here which is this logo we imported from and here is export default the app now if we make some changes let's say here uh, learn react learn react js react js so right now we can see here what we have if i save and come here we have now learn react okay is immediately updated now that's it about this video in the next video we are going to change this uh, component from function component in the class based component okay so see you in the next video all the best